within the vast information rich community known as the world wide web lies many disturbing videos that have yet to be explained one of the most popular examples of this is a clip known as blank room soup which has many theories surrounding it and today I'd like to see if we can uncover any new information regarding one of the internet's biggest mysteries. For those who are unaware, Freaky Soup Guy is a minute long video from 2005. It features a man sitting at a table eating soup as two costume characters appear and confront him in an almost entirely white room. The man appears to be sobbing near the Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard. The video was uploaded by a user named Renaissance Man with a description that simply read, We don't know what this is. The video remained relatively unnoticed for years, with the original still under 200,000 views. Despite widespread media coverage, this is because most of who watched it originally simply dismissed it. As some kind of art project or prank. Interestingly enough, it would only become popular when it was re uploaded in 2014 under the name Blank Room Soup. IV. It's unknown why exactly the uploader did this, but clearly the name stuck. The description only reads more like this on my channel, offering no further answers. Discussion about Blank Room Soup exploded a year later in 2015, with many popular YouTubers converting it, causing it to grow in popularity. But what is this? A first time viewer may wonder if it links up to anything remotely close. As with anything vague and mysterious, many connected it with the dark web and theorized it that it may actually show a kidnapping victim whether or not this is true or up for debate but the three most prevalent rumors were as follows organs with the surge of popularity a youtuber named rainbot started to investigate the mysterious clips and the individuals in them. She revealed that she was able to contact the character's creator, Raymond Percy, the voice of the Flash from Zootopia. According to him, he received the infamous video clips through his email, 
attached with no context or explanation. Raymond has also claimed that the costumes were stolen one night while he was performing. His car was broken into and somebody stole the costumes. One of the biggest red flags about Raymond's story was how he handled the situation from the start. If he received these disturbing videos with no reason to believe that they were fabricated, why didn't he contact the authorities to help him get to the bottom of this? It seems like the way he went about handling the situation only led to more secrets. In conclusion, there isn't and probably never will be a definitive evidence that this was all just a publicity stunt that Raymond slapped on. On the other side of things, there probably will never be a confirmation if these costumes were actually stolen out of his van. At this point, both sides of the coin are valid, and whether or not you believe Raymond's story, there is no denying that this is one of the strangest internet mysteries of current memory.